Hello everyone! This is Virginia. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to Japan with my friend Jen to see Taylor Swift! The bus came right on time and I slept on there because I was dead tired and then we got to Incheon Airport and checked in. Oh my gosh, that was our longest time ever in Incheon immigration because it's the Lunar New Year and there is a million people, but we still have 20 minutes until we need to board our flight, so we're trying to find food. I hope we can find something because otherwise we won't be able to eat until like 2 or 3 p.m. I'm now on a mission to fill our water bottles because there's no water fountain near the bathroom. But we have five minutes until we're boarding and we ended up going to a convenience store to pick up some snacks so we'll just eat them on the plane and I'll show you guys what we got. Hey, success! And I even got a bathroom break in there so it's technically time to board so I'm gonna go find Jen again and I guess we can start eating but I have a feeling we're not gonna eat till we get on the plane. What an adventure! It was time to board our flight which was on time thankfully and we ended up eating this food from the convenience store while we took our flight to Japan and I did sleep through most of that too. Just got to Tokyo and um, now we're going to wait for the bus to go to Tokyo Station and get to our hotel. It was fairly easy to buy the bus tickets so we waited in line until our bus came. They loaded our luggage. Got on the bus, headed to Tokyo Station. This bus ride was about an hour to an hour and a half because there was some traffic. I slept for most of it, but woke up once we started getting more into Tokyo City and then we arrived at Tokyo Station. We are in Tokyo Station now looking for something to eat for our dinner, lunch and dinner, hopefully donkatsu. Jen found us a nice donkatsu restaurant. It was very authentic and Japanese. We both ordered just the standard donkatsu and it came with some nice sauce that was really yummy. Nice, okay guys, nice here's our donkatsu. That looks really yummy. Itadakimasu! <laughs> oh, that's really good. You also gave us this little thing. Two and a half hours till the concert. <laughs> See you guys back at the hotel. We had a 30 minute train ride on the subway to our hotel. Okay guys, we just got to the station where our hotel is. We're walking there and then we're gonna check in and do our makeup and get ready and then go to the concert so hopefully we'll make it on time. We walked until we found our hotel but unfortunately the check-in process took a lot longer than expected and we even forgot to get the key. <sighs> Wow, we just got to our hotel room. Only an hour and 15 minutes until the concert. Let's get ready. Okay guys, so this is my look. It's red. And as you can see, I did my nails too. And these gems for the makeup. And then we have our friendship bracelets. We're gonna try to trade them when we get to the concert if we have time. And in a minute, I'll show you Jen's look. This is Jen's outfit. Okay. We're trying to call the Uber to go. <laughs> Which era are you, Jen? Reputation. Oh! We're waiting for our Uber now because well, there's no time to take the train and let's see what time it is when we get there. We might be getting there around 25 minutes before. <laughs> okay, we just got in the car. Of course there had to be traffic because it was rush hour, but thankfully the Uber still got us there in a decent amount of time. We just got to Tokyo Dome with 20 minutes until Taylor starts and we're trying to find the entrance. Luckily, Jen had been there to a concert previously, so she was really good at showing us around Tokyo Dome, but it was very crowded because there were 50,000 people all trying to get in at the same time and we were freaking out, wondering where our seats were because we had no idea, but thankfully we made it just in time. One minute to spare. <laughs> Oh my god! It's been 
happy to see you right now. You're making me feel just try something real quick. Uh, I haven't seen you in a while. I just want to see something real quick. What would happen if I went like this?
especially tonight. Um, it's it's really been such a good week. Um, I I want to start out though by saying thank you to everyone who traveled a great distance to be at this show tonight. I know I really appreciate that. I, I can't thank you enough for, for wanting to be at this show so much that you, would, uh, that you would travel a great distance to be here. I just, it means the world to me and I'm, I'm so, <laughs> I cannot uh, stop telling you how overjoyed I am to see you. We have had a break from the tour, so it was a couple months of us not, um, not getting to dance together and play together and not getting to, to vibe with you and dance with you and sing with you. and. Um, I always just love coming to Tokyo. You know that I love coming to see you. And it's just, I've been waiting and looking forward to these shows. <laughs> so, and now they're here. So, uh, another thing I have to thank you for is that we just had a, we had a pretty crazy night at the Grammys the other day. But, but most of all, um, so going to the Grammys, going in, I had this, this plan in my head, and I'd like told my friends, and I told Jack, but I hadn't really told very many other people, like, that I thought, okay, so if I'm lucky enough to get up there and win, win one thing tonight, I'm just gonna do it, I'm just gonna announce my new album. <laughs> Um, and, and luckily enough, that ended up happening. Um, my backup plan was I was going to do it tonight in Tokyo. Uh, but, <laughs> tonight. but thanks to you and your support, I was lucky enough to, to win a Grammy and, uh, and tell you about it on the stage of the Grammys. And now we can talk about it afterward. We can do like the debrief tonight and talk about it. But so I, I, got, to, I got to announce this new album that I'm so proud of. And I've been keeping it a secret for a while because I've been working on Tortured Poets uh, since right after I turned in Midnights. So you turn in an album months in advance so you can make vinyls, which are the best. And so I started working on it immediately after that, and I've been working on it for like, for about two years. I kept working on it throughout the U.S. tour. And, um, and when it was perfect, in my opinion, when it was good enough for you, uh, I finished it, and I am so, so excited that soon you'll get to hear it, soon we'll get to, you know, experience that together, and I'm just like, I'm over the moon about the fact that you guys care about my music, it still blows my mind, I love doing this, I know I keep saying that, but that's because it's true, everyone's like, why do you make so many albums, I'm like, man, because I love it, I love it so much.
cared about this album to the point where, you know, obviously what happened a couple days ago happened. And it's only because of you and how much you supported my music. It's called Dear Reader. back to our hotel and Taylor Swift's concert was so amazing it was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity but we feel so dead tired it's like 10 30 p.m. and I've been up since like 6 50 a.m. and we've traveled from another country so you know we're we're feeling it so we're gonna go to bed soon but tomorrow we're going on a day trip to Kamakura so make sure to stay tuned for that vlog and thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe bye